How's it going everybody? My name is Boletus and welcome to episode 13 of my Minecraft Beta 1.5 Let's Play. So, as you can see, I'm starting off this episode doing a bit of mining because what I am wanting to do, oh, there's one more piece of iron, what I am wanting to do is I'm wanting to get some more cobblestone to hopefully finish the roof of the keep, the building that I started last episode. So, I'm hoping to work on that a little bit more just because I want it done I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll We'll start off with a little bit of mining, or at least I'll start off with a little bit of mining until I've got a good amount of cobblestone, and then I'll be back up to the surface, and we'll continue with that build, I guess. Looks like I found myself a new cave. Let's try our best not to die in this lava, very scary bit of lava. I cannot see or hear any monsters yet, which is a good sign. Run out of dirt? Oh no, haven't run out of dirt yet. I've blocked that off. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Nope. Nothing at all, just a bit of iron. I have found myself another cave, and over that way I heard some monsters, so I'm hoping that I do not stumble into any. It's just a wee cave. It's quite big and round, but it's just small. Sadly, nothing here. Oh, it continues. Oh shit. Oh shit, there we go. Let that go away first. Or not. Come on, go away. Go away god lava in these versions are so annoying anything just some spooky scary more up there too Alrighty, looks like this episode is going to start off with a bit of cave exploring or not <laughs> i keep on thinking that these caves are going to be more interesting than they actually are it's a little disappointing but oh well not the end of the world anything some gold it is still going we'll get the gold and now it's going down there. <laughs> Such a weird cave. I hear a zombie that way, but I'm just going to leave it. We've got one more torch, so we'll just keep on mining down the um, hole that I've made until we can't anymore. And then we'll go up, go back up to civilization. Looks like I've already explored this cave. Oh, I forgot these. So that's our last torch. So we're going back up to the surface and then I'll explain a little more what we are going to do in this episode, which right now I don't actually really know what it's going to be. Hello friend. Hi there. So we are now back up at the surface and first of all what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to finish off the keep of the castle Well not finish off but finish the roof which I'm hoping that this is enough cobblestone I'm not completely sure but here's to hoping and also one other thing that I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to start terraforming for the village So if you remember last episode I was talking about a village that would house a few of my viewers It will be the the subscriber village. I'm still not completely sure how I am going to actually be choosing which subscribers get a house, so still if anybody has any recommendations on how I would do that, please tell me. But I made a poll in the community thingy and the majority of people chose this area right here which was the second spot. It's got a wee lagoon out that way, it's got that little island over there and it is reasonably fat, oh, sorry, reasonably flat. But but it will need a little bit more flattening. But yeah, I am really excited to do that. So yeah, first of all, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to work on the keep and then we will come back here and do some terraforming and potentially start building some houses. Also, just to remind you all, the dogs love this cobblestone. They are in love with the cobblestone. They could not ask for anything else, except maybe a little bit of gravel. They love gravel. But, most of all, they love this cobblestone. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's a beautiful texture. It's absolutely wonderful. Don't you love the cobblestone? He's ignoring me, which means that he loves me. So we are over at the castle, and what I did off camera was I decided to try and start a staircase all the way up. I'm not <laughs> too sure if I actually like this, but I think they'll complete it and see what my thoughts are after I'm finished it. But I think that first of all, what I am going to do is I'm going to make a time lapse where I fill in all of this stuff all around here and actually give it a proper roof. So, here we go.
We now have a roof and we've still got a good amount of cobblestone left so I'm going to work on the trim, I guess trim works is the name, and see how much of that I can do with this three stacks. So, it turns out that I did have enough cobblestone to finish the entire thing. The only issue is, and you probably noticed it already, is this here. Before building this keep, I really should have checked if this would actually work, and it turns out that it didn't. This should have been one block further this way. So I'm not sure if I'm wanting to build one block further this way, or maybe I could just make it work, or maybe I can just ignore it. I don't think that I can ignore it though. <laughs> I think that that would get on my nerves and potentially other people's nerves. I'm not sure. But at least right now there is a roof and I think that's wonderful. Look at that. It's very dark up there. Also, I gotta say I am really excited for there to be a town right here. I am just really hoping that it looks as wonderful as I'm envisioning. Imagine up there. Oh, just wait. That there from up at the top of the castle that's gonna look wonderful. <laughs> or I sure as fuck hope that it does, but I am certain and then it's going to look wonderful. We'll also a look at the castle from over this way and it looks wonderful. So now we are going to be moving on to the place where we are going to be building the town. We are going to flatten it out and make it livable. So I've got this iron shovel but that's probably not going to be enough. What was with that glitch? Look at that! What's happening over there? That is weird. I have never noticed that before. Alright, well, as I was saying, this probably won't be enough, so I'm going to make a diamond shovel, just because we've got diamonds and they are there to be used, so we may as well. So we'll quickly make that. Wonderful. And then I'm going to wait. It looks like it's going to turn night. And then we'll be moving over there and then we'll work on that. I'm walking over to the castle now because of this chest here, which has a bunch of dirt in it. And even though we've got a tiny little bit of dirt in there, this dirt might be useful because, well, this dirt was from when I flattened out the inside of the castle. And of course, dirt will be good for flattening out the parts that sort of go down instead of up. <laughs> if you understand what I mean and if you don't then oh well <laughs> so we'll be doing a time-lapse now so let's get into the time-lapse I guess So I flattened out a good size space and there's still plenty of space that I can move back that way if I need to, but I think that for now this is a good sized bit of land. So first of all, before coming up with an idea of what the houses should look like, I think that we've got to put in a few roads and also what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to set up a train station so that we can just take the rail from over there all the way over here, which I'm hoping to have sort of in this area around here. So first of all what I'm going to do and I have taken down some trees over here but first of all I am wanting to make a bunch of wooden planks like so and make some roads at 
the very least make this road go over that way a bit more and then probably make a cross over this way so yeah that's what i'll be doing now so i have built roads and i have built this one building and this here is going to be the train station on the inside there's nothing and i have not added glass to this side because i actually have no clue where i am going to attach the tracks which i've got some tracks in here <laughs> but not much at the moment but i definitely do not have enough cobblestone to link these two places so i'll need to go back down into the mines but i will not bring you down there because <laughs> we've already done a good amount of that this episode but yeah i have no clue how i am going to link these up i think that i'm just going to have to go like this and like this we have to deal with that <laughs> no matter how ugly it is although actually I'll do that there. Yeah. I'll put this in like that. We'll have to deal with that. That's just life. Sometimes we have to deal with a little bit of ugly. But I will start off building the train tracks, which looks like we'll have to get rid of that tree right there. Yeah, I'll start off making the train tracks and see how far 41 pieces of cobblestone goes. But I do not expect it to go very far. So that's 41 blocks apparently. So, <laughs> as you can see, I've taken this tree down and got decent amount of wood but yeah i'll go into the mines now also i've noticed that for some reason the game is quite laggy and glitchy i apologize about that but i cannot do anything about it but yeah i'll go into the mines now i will get i don't know a stack or two and then i'll come back and we'll finish off this railway so i've got four stacks of cobblestone and now my pickaxe is very broken four stacks of cobblestone should be enough i'm saying should it definitely will be enough watch out for that creepy boy. I'll just remove him. Come on, gonna get removed. <laughs> oh, oh, nope, you're gonna blow up. There we go. So, I'll keep on doing this. <laughs> so, I've finished this. Now, I just need to add the supports. Sort of the same as what I did over there. So, I'll do that now. I have finished the supports. And now I've got a new pickaxe. And I have made probably far too many rails. But I'm going to add in the rails. Or at least as many as I can before it turns night. And then, I guess, we'll almost be finished. Which is exciting. I have no clue what's going on. But... It is not letting me live at... Oh, God. Well, then. <laughs> I have no clue what was going on there. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I did for that to happen, but at least by the looks of it, we've got all of our stuff. It looks like I just fell down there into here because I was trying to test something out. I'm sorry. I was trying to test something out off camera and I just fell straight into here, but I could not break this block, but I could break these two. Odd. This game is very odd. Can someone explain to me what is going on? <laughs> what is this? So I have now added the rails and died, as you can see. But, you know, just ignore that. That definitely did not happen. In here, I have made this wee contraption, which means that we can go over to the castle over that way, or we can go over to the town over that way. This took far too long for me to figure out, but I finally figured out how to make it actually work, and it's not the best, but it does its job. So now, let's do the first ride all the way over there. Are you ready for this this is exciting <laughs> and we hit our head right at the end but i mean oh well but yeah look at that for some reason the light's not working very well it's quite dark in here but i'm just going to do this this should bring in some light there we go. But anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the start of the beautiful town, which will slowly grow and become a big, beautiful town. As I've said, I still have no clue who's going to get a house and how we're going to figure out who's going to get a house. But if you've got any ideas, please tell me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe and share it to a friend. Show a friend. I bet that your friend would love this railway. Uh, this yeah this rail <laughs> this video we haven't really done much we did some mining we finished off the top of the keep and we made this beautiful place even though i did that off camera but you know it's just one of those days <laughs> but yeah thank you 
for watching. Goodbye.